Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick heads up or unboxing review of my Sky CPX2. Just purchased this recently, got it from my FFL dealer. Um, ordered it from Buds for I think it was like 259 bucks, so pretty cheap. Now, for that money, what do you get here? You get the, uh, the usual stuff, but it says, kind of strange, it has this warranty. It actually says that it's a, don't lose this card. This is their warranty card. So I don't know if you need this card to scan it in to get their warranty. They have that great warranty they're known for. I wonder if you have to scan this in. It says, do not lose this card. So I'm wondering if this has something to do with it. So keep that in the box with it. It actually only comes in this plat cardboard box, which you'd expect for that price point. Instruction book, cement shell, and then it has the uh, flat, uh, base plates for the mags, but uh, very nice that it comes with this uh, actual locking thing rather than that uh, oh the uh, the padlock thing or the the uh, uh, stupid lock from that's really cheap and made in China that usually comes with all of I'm sure this is probably made in China too. But in any case, uh, this one's much nicer. So it's too bad that it doesn't come. More guns don't come in a case uh, with their plastic case that has this type of lock in it because if you were to keep it in this and take the keys out of course you have a nice little trigger lock on there so that's a pretty nice feature for the price point of this of this gun uh, it comes with two mags um, that works pretty well uh, gun I got it in flat dark earth so flat dark earth actually matches my pretty well matches my Streamlight Polytac, and it matches my Magpul furniture on my AR as well. Uh, one thing to I wanted to state: I've only fired a hundred and about a hundred rounds through this so far, so I'm still pretty new. I did was able to easily order another mag with it, so I've got a total of three now. And I was able to order from um, Badger Tactical a holster. There we go. Inside the waistband holster. So inside waistband holster from Badger. Um, it doesn't click in quite as well as, I'd, as I'm used to with other mags, but this one is, or other uh, um, holsters, except it, it does seem to uh, work just as well. It holds the gun back. The gun is very lightweight, I think 15 ounces, very lightweight. Uh, here is the issue I have with this gun. Let me put a uh, little snap cap in here. And this is the only issue. It would be a bigger issue if it was a more expensive gun. Now, I know it's a cheap gun. Uh, snap cap. Go ahead and very easy. Now, here is the trigger pull. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that here. Very heavy. I have never felt the trigger pull this heavy before. There it is. Okay, so all the way back, very heavy, and then all the way out. Let's see if it. Uh, some gloves, it doesn't. This, these gloves are thinner, so it will work with these. But some gloves, it will not even recycle, cycle back. But it is a. Uh, similar to a revolver trigger in that you can keep you can do multiple strikes if a round doesn't go off which I have had I had to do the first batch of a hundred rounds that I shot I really didn't have any problems other than one time I had a failure to lock back on the on the last round and I had two failure to feeds only on PMC PMC bronze ammo uh, the other ammo I used blazer brass and Freedom Munitions, I had no failures with those, with this gun. Um, but that is something to be aware of. This trigger pull feels, feels to me like about a 12 pound trigger pull. I don't know what it's actually at, but it is heavy. And I've actually taken this gun apart twice, cleaned it twice, and frog lubed it heavily, and it's still heavy. It's smooth, but it's heavy. Um, and then, last round hold open worked that time. Uh, the mags are also kind of cheap. They feel gritty compared to my Smith & Wesson mags. So, that being said, let's bring in the Smith & Wesson. So here we go. We've got a Smith & Wesson shield versus, this is what I shot together. This is how they look together. Smith & Wesson shield and the Sky CPX2. Smith & Wesson shield it does have the thumb safety. Sky. CPX2 does not. CPX1 has a bio, has an ambidextrous safety. So if that's a concern for you, yeah, order the CPX1. Um, with this trigger being so heavy, if you don't, even if you carry a round in this firearm, 
and it falls on the ground and some kid picks it up, uh, most kids are not going to be able to pull this trigger. I, w I don't carry with a round in the chamber anyway, so I always have to, so for me it's more important to be able to lock it, uh, to rack it, and then be ready to go. Um, with this one, uh, there's no way a kid's going to pull this trigger. <laughs> I think you'd have to be an adult strength to pull that trigger. Now, the shield on the other hand, I shot these together at the shooting range, 100% difference. The shield also costs 200 bucks more than this. This one I bought for 259, this one I bought for 449, so almost $200 difference. The extra $200, uh, you get a much nicer trigger with this, with this firearm by comparison. Uh, I'm much more accurate with this one because of this trigger. Do a little quick little check here. Okay, so safety off. This trigger, nice and easy, very light. And then if I cycle it, nice uh, short reset. So the shield 100% has a better better trigger, 100% um, better uh, everything except it is a heavier, a little bit heavier gun too only holds seven rounds. Heavier gun only holds seven rounds. This is lighter, holds ten rounds. So there's a little bit of a, a benefit to this one. I was actually not able to fire this one right-handed because it was hurting my flexor tendon of this finger. I had to switch and shoot left-handed, which may have affected some of my, since my left hand is not my strong hand, that may have affected my uh, accuracy, but I just cannot pull this trigger comfortably with my right hand. Even with the left hand, it's a, it does it better but uh, not, uh, still not a very uh, easy trigger pull, no matter how you look at it. <laughs> There's just no way. Oh, I didn't need to do that, but it's all the way out to reset. So for $259, I'd still say this is a pretty decent gun. You can get a nice little case for it for 30 bucks, um, and also close to 30 bucks for more mags, which I don't think I need one. I only need three. Uh, mags per gun. Unlike what Nut and Fancy always says, you need five mags per gun. I technically really don't. I'm not that big of a, a gun nut to need that. But in any case, I like the color. I like the way it feels. The ergonomics is good. It does feel cheaper. This feels like a cheap plastic, whereas this feels like gun polymer. This feels like plastic that you <laughs> make a, a toy out of. So if you want something to have fun shooting at the range and have good accuracy with, the shield hands down wins. Um, this, if you want a cheap gun that you could carry 10 rounds easily and not be accurate with it at the range and not be enjoyable with it at the range, this guy CPX2 might be something worth looking at. Um, I'd say that if, if Sky were to come out with another version of this down the road with a better trigger, this would almost be the best concealed carry gun on the market. I mean, if they were able to fix this trigger and make it, I know they want to have it heavy because it's a carry gun. That makes sense, but uh, um, being s extremely heavy that it is and having such a long reset almost makes the gun drop back quite a bit. If they could, if they could shorten the reset and make it a little bit lighter or make a crisp reset that's short and keep it heavy, they could keep it heavy and just have a short, shorter reset which is uh, much more positive. Uh, this would be, in my opinion, the, the best concealed carry gun out there because it's so lightweight. It does, it does give a, a kick. And it is more uh, snappy than the, the shield just because it is lighter weight and um, lighter weight and of that long trigger. So since you're, you're spending all your, your, your strength is being used on this long trigger, so by the time it actually the hammer snaps back there. It really gives you a nice little kick. But uh, just wanted to show this. I haven't seen many videos of the flat dark earth version. It goes very well with other flat dark earth stuff you're trying to <laughs> accessorize. Um, but whether I'll keep this or not, I'm going to try a couple more times shooting it and see if I can get my, my tendons in my hand able to tolerate that heavy trigger. And if so, I'll keep it. Otherwise, I may sell it uh, with all the accessories that came with it. So that's... Uh, that's my quick little unboxing review of the Sky CPX2. If you're interested, hopefully that helps you out. Thanks.